with the city of world's desires constantinople finally under british occupation and uh, currently in the process of being integrated into the empire king edward or emperor edward sets his sight towards india where we will continue our uh, conquest in the bengali as well as coromandel trading regions and uh, we will continue to uh steamroll through the natives hope you guys are all having a wonderful day welcome back to some eu4 we are playing as uh, the empire of great britain and uh hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign up to this point the army of ireland led by jonathan clive will head over and we'll just bump bump those guys out of the war soon um these forts are not upgraded sadly no just this one over here we probably should have done that it's okay i'm kind of letting my um letting my um my money tick up just so we can i need to build these though i want to build the uh the suez asap we plan to do it but uh, after seeing all these forts that need upgraded i i feel obligated the less occupations we get the better there georgia of course we'll get a couple we get a couple over here as well we're going to integrate these guys very soon so it's okay if they can't really afford it and two more over here yeah, that was a lot of money we just spent but uh, we decided we're not going to go for economic hegemon we're going to go for military instead in order to get military you just need a thousand army or a one million army in the field and we're getting there we are we are going to get there eventually Let's continue to do this, and uh, we need to state you, full state, eventually. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, mill manpower, mill man is still maxed out, so let's uh, get you guys built up here. As long as we have universities in the provinces, I'm good to sink as much manpower into them as possible. Or mill mana, rather. There we go. That also will raise up our uh, force limit. So, let's get in there. 850. Not bad at all. And you guys got to understand, we're, we got plenty of land left to go. Once I integrate Castile, we'll state up all of Castile's land as well. And speaking of, we plan to do it. But I'm going to start the annexation process on these guys first. So let's um, preemptively start looking for an appropriate advisor. We want the diplom diplomatic advisor. These guys will head over here. Come on, Clive. Do me proud, baby. Let's come on handle these guys over here. Oh, even better yet. Even better yet, they went into the grasslands for us. That is a wipe. These guys over here shall get wiped on the fort there. Yeah, these Bengalis do not stand a chance at all. They're going to try to reinforce over here. Oh, they are reinforcing. They're dogpiling even. Oh my gosh, Clive. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. All right, let's get these army over here. No, no, no. I don't want to get on Black Flag. We're going to... Abuse the black flag here. Since we're black flagged, you can run through enemy territory for free. Now let's get Julie over there. The white squadron is over here protecting trade in Zanzibar. Our monthly income is looking very good. Monthly trade income is over 550. That's crazy. It's actually insane. I suppose we can split you guys here. Let's have you guys suppress rebels. We're going to have lots of them, especially over here in my vassal's land. Get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. Let's have these guys suppress over yonder. I am going to squittage these guys. So they'll be in this war, but uh, that'll be about the last of it for them. Bah, I'll lead the army myself. Yeah, you're going to have these events like that. Nothing I can do about it. So, let's see here. We want to convert... 11 months not bad 12 months not bad 10 months very good and we'll be able to add all these to the trade company possibly even get an extra merchant so yes lots of trade power being steered into the english channel i would like to steer a bit more from cuba into like bordeaux but we'll see how that goes yeah there's quite a bit that's still over here to be honest with you we could certainly be expanding our trade power over there oh my gosh these events from being overextended are so dumb. All right, let's get these guys down here. 
Oh, they <laughs> they heard the footsteps coming. They said, uh, actually, I changed my mind. How is that fast? There you go. Or up Genoa, of course. Where are we at now? 81. Not bad. We're 12 years ahead on Diplo as well. So... Oop, wrong points there. As much Diplo dev as possible. That gives us more trade power. Or more uh, trade goods, so... Which translates to more trade. So... 856, and it should go up to... Oh, that was already updated? Yep, that's it. Where are these rebels popping up? Lucan Separatists. They're handled already. Very good. Let's get our armies grouped up over here. Oh, they got a wall breach. Really? All right. Minor inconvenience. Don't click these. Just leave them. Then nothing will happen. Let's get you guys force marched over here. Jonathan, it's time to redeem yourself. Get these guys off of us. There we go. How about that? Not bad. All right, Jonathan, split off. And let's take the army of Ireland here. And uh, send them over with the Julie down to start working on uh, some other Bengali land. We just need to get Bengal out of the war. That's the that's the major the major thing for us. Continue to boost up our uh, mercantilism. Seventy four percent, not bad, not bad at all. Our overextension is quite high. There's nothing I can do about it. We just have to wait on it. Looks like our diplo guy died. That's actually fine. Um, though I'm not gonna. Yeah. We need them to be in an accepted culture. Or there's no point in having them. There we go. We want a 7%er. I would only I only believe that because I just watched it happen. So we will shall white piece them. And let's uh start car besieging them. And let's have you guys head down and uh beeline it for their capital. Now, as far as what we want in this war, it's an imperialism CB, so we can take whatever we want. But uh, I'm gonna prioritize anything. That we have claims on, especially if it's within the appropriate trade nodes here. Bengal and uh, Coromandel. No, oh, might as well take that as well. And then, oh, yeah, this is perfect. Actually, just relegate them to a couple of uh, small provinces over here. That's fine with me. Ottoman separatists in Constantinople. We'll be handled. That is a very large stack of rebels. Jeez, oh Pete. You don't say. Um, continue searching for an appropriate advisor. Here we go. Ratio Anson. Hungarian pretender rebels. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. I do not think so. So suppress rebels over here as well as over here. George William, you can handle them. Once he gets a repair tick, he'll head over. You can't let Pretender Rebels siege down the capital of your vassal, or else they will uh, break free. So obviously, fight it off if you can. All right, let's actually force March to handle these Rebels. Actually, I lied. We're going to come over here. Let's have these guys grouped up. Sad that we missed that siege right there. It's okay. Add you guys down here to handle them. And uh, the fort will take it back, so it's fine. Let's come on up here and uh, wipe out their army. The less men that they have in the field, the more willing they will be to peace out with us. All oh, these rebels are crazy. Greek separatists, even. Okay, they're handled. They should get handled soon. So fallen separatists should be handled. There we go. Very good. These guys are heading up this way, so we will meet them in Bastar, and we shall wipe them. There you go. Easy enough, right? And then uh, no longer force march. Not necessary. Bulgarian separatists. All these rebels in the former Ottoman lands. All right. We got his war. Got the war goal. And uh, let's start uh, the carpet siege here. All right. And these guys over here are getting converted. So you shall be part of the trade company over here. There we go. And then this one over here shall be converted soon. Not bad. 
Zanzibar has not been converted either. Obviously, we want to get that one converted. Add this to the trade company as well. We will get a merchant now on the next month. Just making sure I've got it all done. This is fine. So then we'll just convert, you know, other stuff as we can. There we go. We got an extra merchant. So where do we steer from? That's the question. Um... If we steer through here, we might get a little bit of extra caravan power. Hmm, curious. Let's try steering through Bordeaux and see what that does for us. So, we're making 566. Let's see what that does for us. Five sixty six, five seventy one. That's not bad. Yeah, we we are we need to get a lot more trade over here. Ooh, easier said than done, I suppose. Spain is collecting quite a bit over here. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. All right, that's fine. We could probably uh, take some time to optimize our trade, and I will I will do that eventually. But uh, I do want to remind you guys, if you're enjoying the campaign, that you would uh, show your support and leave a like on it, because I have been having an absolute blast. And uh, if, if you guys are as well, I do like to know it. All right. Obviously, we need to wait. <laughs> we don't want to be 100% overextended plus 100% overextended. So we're going to put hold off on that. These guys will get handled. Very good. Got some more rebels over here. Send them whatever they need. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. All right, let's speed five it. Yeah. More overextension events. You'll have that. It is part of playing the game and being overextended. Charismatic negotiator, huh? Not bad. That's going to help us integrate our vassals quicker. So seems like Edward maybe is destined for this job, right? I can live with that. I'm a bit disappointed about, um, what you call it? Uh, those boys switching away from us. Russia switching our dynasty. Paid 90 favors for that, and they just switched out anyways. Albanian separatist. All right. They're going to get handled. Very good. And our Inquisitor is dead. Unfortunate. Can we get a new one? Well, I'm certainly going to go for it. I don't care about the government reform progress. We're not using it for anything other than just buying up our governing camp anyways. He is not the correct religion. Let's get rid of the level threes. That way we can hopefully get a level three that is the correct faith. Genoese separatists. You guys should be handled. Treasure fleet. Very cool. Uh-huh. Please give me a missionary guy. Still nothing, huh? There we go. Ha! Ah, crap it. Oh, well. It's fine. Crap it, I said. Level 3 is fine. Whatever. Uh-huh. And let's continue to get our mercantilism. Once we get it maxed out, then uh, we'll, we've, we've made it. We've done everything we could. And uh, we just need to core up a couple more provinces over here, and we're good to go. Where are these rebels popping? And Hara. Yeah. It's almost like they're getting full occupied in a war. Their people are mad. They said, let my people go. It's all good. No big deal. Tunisian separatists. As the Brits would say. Tunisian. I don't care about that. 10 years ahead of time on tech still. Almost 900 max force limit, which is awesome. And we're just going to keep converting everybody we can. You have to remember, we're also playing down down a merchant because... Well, no, we have this one. Okay, this is good. Um, I am tempted to take religious ideas just to clean up. 
influence is nice just for the annexation. We probably we kind of have to go at in influence actually. All right, so we're almost done. Let's just core up. Peace out. This is fine. We'll be able to uh, get these guys down below 100% just by uh, yoinking Crownland. British India grows stronger still. Very good. I love it. I love that naming. All right, so what do we just take here? Diplomat mode is the easiest way to take a look at that. And we will yoink crown land, or yoink land, dev rather. Very good. And the reason why is because it helps with, um, it helps with um, coring. So take a look at that. Under 100 now. Very good. It's going to take some time. We're going to end up needing to, uh, you know, invest some admin mana into it. It's fine. As long as we're not over 100, I don't care. We can have a little bit of rebels, but being over 100 is much more punishing. So we're just going to wait on that. And we're going to continue converting everything. We can embrace the institution here. Um, Yeah, I suppose it's fine. It's not a big deal to me. Um, And now we are almost at the point now where we can... Coal! Coal is here. Oh my gosh. Time to win more. Coal is a win more mechanic, but I am down for it. Let's go. So if you guys don't know, <laughs> furnaces uh, become available in the Age of Revolution. Well, I, right before it, but 5% uh, goods produced per build. So that's 5, 10, well, one we can afford it, 15, 20% goods produced. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. They take a long time to build, but um, I'm okay with it. We also have a mission here that we need to click off. So let's click off these missions. Where are we at? The India. Take the Indian coast, get more permanent claims in India, and build manufactories. We get some... Uh, ooh, are these in all of our... Glamorgan. Okay. Derby. Where's Derby at? Oh man, yeah. So this is base production in the provinces that and goods produced for the end of the game. Oh my gosh. So this is all for our coal. Well, that's great. The industrial revolution. Yep. Once we get our furnaces built here, we'll get a bunch of dev in our capital as well, which is great. Also, I got a couple of comments like, I love how London's entire tile is just buildings. Yeah, it's a giant metro metropolis. It's a uh, 303 dev. It's not bad, right? I can live with that. Let's uh, do this. That way we can build that uh furnace there oh we got it already so it looks like this is coal as well so we need to get rid of something over here let's get rid of the coastal defenses and that will free up a building slot for building that let's take a look as well um do we have any more in our empire anywhere we have one in bengal that is not kind of popped out yet so it looks like the only stuff that's popped out so far has been hayna and metz in Lorraine. Uh, these guys are an elector. It's gonna We're going to end up needing to dismantle the HRE before we're going to be able to get any meaningful uh, conquest over there. So we'll wait. It's not a big deal. I'm okay with it. But yeah, those permanent claims over here in India are nice. It's going to let us get a ton of conquest against Bengal. So let's take a look here. Let's dev you one time and upgrade you. Very good. You are already upgraded. You guys shall be upgraded a few times here. Let's upgrade you. These guys over here need added and upgraded. That might get me. Let's take a look here. We already have the mission. Not do not have the missionary for Bengal yet. Interesting. Really. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to need to do a little bit more investment. That's fine. Okay. Our income is definitely going up. Look at that. So good. So good. And then you guys down here are already in there. Bad. This is fine. 
All right, and I think it was October of 06. We can now begin annexing these guys. We'll be done with it in eight year or 12 years. It's not bad. Now, is there any any policies we have that could give us a little bit more Diplo rep? Yes. All right, let's do that. We're keeping the rest. Trade efficiency and trade steering. That's good. Global trade power and Diplo rep. So let's see, our goods produced, we need that. Advisor, uh, so which would I rather have? Global trade power or advisor cost? I think I'd rather have the uh, global trade power. As long as we're still getting the Diplo rep. So now instead of 18, it'll be done in 17. So 11 years. Not bad. It's going to cost us a lot of Diplo. Basically, we just get zero Diplo. But uh, it's fine because we're nine years ahead of time. So basically, that means we'll be right on time to take tech. Maybe like one year off. No big deal. Very good. Dalmatian separatists in Ragusa. Very good. Continue converting everything. It all gets converted. Right, let's continue to core up all this stuff as well. The overextension is not helping. British India does look good though, man. It does look good. Diplo tech cost for 10 years. That's fine. Hopefully I remember and uh, we don't take tech before then. Oh, we're converting this stuff. Um, where are my merchant missionaries? Remarkable. Very good. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about the burgers being a little disloyal. I'll like just summon a diet and say, hey, burgers, you want me to have lots more trade power and loot back? I can do that. Let's do it. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Who cares? go these guys are getting converted so yeah i lied we're just gonna we're just gonna core it up first where was the other one getting converted at right here no where are we at here salem salem i assume is how it's pronounced there you go and then uh let's convert stuff that actually makes sense to convert <laughs> That way we can core it all up. Anglican looking really good though. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're up to 12,000. Time for another round of... Uh... Ugh. So I suppose... Here's one thing we can do here. There is... um. Where are we at here? Let's make sure we've built this in all of our trade company lands anyways. Very good. Come on now. There we go. Looks like we're missing it over here. This is not necessary. This just creates more trade. Um, but I'm okay with it. Uh, over here. Oh my gosh, man. Click the water and it Exits out of it. There we go. You guys over here in Gujarat. And then South Africa. More goods produced. Very good. We are now poor and we cannot afford more of it. More coal. So let's see here. Buildings. Furnace. Very nice. Two more. So that's 10 more goods produced. <laughs> I can live with that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We are making 100 ducats a month more than we were last time I looked. And it looks like this is switched over to coal as well. So let's get rid of the regimental camp there and build a furnace. Got some rebels down here. Should get handled. Very good. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Our income is going to start. Oh, my gosh. We're making like 550 last episode. So, yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. What's our force limit up to? 945. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Haven't been at war for a minute, but uh, that's okay. I'm tempted. Yeah, we're going to do this. Let's just do it. Let's just um, white piece auto. It's fine with me. I definitely told you guys to go over to Ankara. So this is his capital here. Just taking his capital should be enough to piece him out. 
Not quite, actually. Stubborn. Just need to white piece him. That's all. Ongoing battles, huh? Look at this fort over here. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, okay, man. Not bad, right? I can live with that. Let's do, um, do this here. I just want to white piece the Ottomans. Shortens our truce with them by a few years. It's not bad. All according to plan. Continue converting it. Everything gets converted. These guys still have 200,000 men. That's crazy to me. Getting absolutely just clobbered, but they're still feeling good about it. Give these to Georgia so I don't have to worry about getting them occupied again. Get you guys over here. Get them off that fort there. This is Highlands. It is. Very good. Jonathan Clive. Austria is inting. Get some Rebels pop in Makas... Oh, really? What? Why, bro? For real, why? What did I do to deserve that? Danish Separatists? I don't think so. Say psych right now. Few indeed. There we go. We actually stack wiped him. Not bad. All right, Otto. Peace out, dude. Believe me, you want out of this war, I promise you. This is not something that uh, you're interested in being involved in, I promise. There we go. We won that siege over there. They should white peace. Ugh, on the monthly tick, they should white peace. Ongoing battles. Giving them some... Uh, there you go. You guys are clowns. All right, let's get these guys over here. He's going back up here. Truce with other people are expiring. So that means our truce with the Ottomans is just five years now, which is great. These guys will come up here and we'll just, like, white piece these guys. I don't care about this war. It's a nice little trick you can do. We're almost a quarter of the way done with annexing the Mams, which is great. They haven't converted much of their land. Let's take a look if they plan to. Oh, yeah, they are. Very good. So once we annex them, we will get uh, the merchant from Mecca. Or mi merchant. Missionary from Mecca, which is good. Uh, Miltech. I, I think uh, we're okay with that for now. Let's do a little bit of dev. There we go. Let's have these guys come up over here. Oh, that's awesome. They're actually occupying my neighbor's land. <laughs> so they'll come up here across the strait and uh, get killed. I'll just like teleport her over there for now. So we should be able to just forget about that. Let's uh, white piece you guys. And uh, truce with the Ottomans will be up shortly. VJ's going to need annex soon. But uh, I think the big one will be Bengal first. They have some allies over here. Sir Hind is kind of big, actually. Uh, Russia will join this one. So let's just wait on our diplomat here. We're currying favors with them. We don't need spy network on the Ottomans anymore or to improve relations with you anymore. Let's do it. Hopefully Russia will be useful. Uh, let's get uh, Ambrose Cornwallis over there and let's get Julie on that siege over here. Basically, I just want to win the sieges ASAP. Let's actually have you peace out the other uh, combatants here. Let's say I want Russia to handle these over here and that way I'll be able to piece them out ASAP there we go look at that Anglican I love it I really do love it <laughs> and uh, we don't need to worry about uh, the mams getting occupied because they're not in the war because they're scootaged it's a beautiful thing so these forts over here are all upgraded to level 8 so they will not be able to do anything. They'll they'll do literally nothing. Oh, they even they have good wall breach wall sieges though. But even with a wall breach, 91%. It's not bad. Alright, the Age of Revolutions is upon us. We can now build the Suez. So let's do that. 
Uh, where's it at here? Let's build it. And how long does it take? Does it say? I don't know, but take a look. When we build it, we get uh, 50 trade power in that, and then global trade power, 5%. Pretty good. And we'll be able to build the Kiel as well. Whenever we feel like it. Cancel? No, no cancel. Almost over 1 million force limit. All right, give this to Georgia. So these guys are kind of big. So let's scorch this province here. And uh, head in there. Since we scorched this, it will take them longer to reinforce, but they may actually be able to make it anyways. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, I think I was being a little overzealous there. Let's um, piece you out. Just the white piece is fine. We need a doom stack, baby. I'll marry you, ma'ams. They said, will you marry me, bro? I'll marry you, bro. All right, this is a long episode. I uh, definitely lost track of time. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you show your support. Leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Check me out over at uh, twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot. And uh, also subscribe to my Patreon if you have it within your means and you'd like to support. And check out the Discord linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Ep, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.